Lyon entertained Caen de Stade OL and it was two penalties which gifted the runners-up last year the victory today. Lacazette with the first penalty. He's scoring his fourth goal of the season. And then late on in the game, in added time, another penalty awarded to Lyon. And once again, the French striker steps up to blast in. Lyon record their second victory and a perfect start to the season. Unai Emery's first game in charge at the Parc des Princes. And the Spaniard will have been very happy with what he saw. Paris recording their second win after they beat Bastia last weekend. First it was Lucas who opened the scoring in the second half. Then Kozawa added a second. His second goal of the season already. And right at the end of the match, Marco Verratti's shot turned into his own net by Rivierez. 3-0 for Paris. Nice played against Angers. And it was an early goal that settled the game in this one. Alassane Plia, after four minutes, getting the better of Angers. Nice, who recorded a 1-0 win the previous week, once again with the same scoreline and six points. Pascal Dupras Toulouse welcomed Bordeaux at the Stade Municipal after an unconvincing 0-0 draw at the Velodrome last weekend. This time, Toulouse storming to victory. A first goal by Diop then by Julian and a beautiful free kick by Braithwaite making it 3-0. Fantastic strike. The home side then added a fourth. Braithwaite once again. Beautiful skill, shot and goal. Just a then got Consolation goal for the visitors, but it ended Toulouse 4, Bordeaux 1. Marseille travelled to Guingamp after their 0-0 draw against Toulouse, and it started badly for the Olympians. Salibur getting the first goal for Guingamp. Guingamp on the back of a very good draw against Monaco just one week ago. 1-0 and then 2-0 in the second half. Time Jeremy Sorbon turning in. Marseille did manage to bring the score down. Tovin with a good shot, but it was a little too late. Gabriel Bouchilla with a one moment of glory in the Monaco Nantes. Monaco travelling to Nantes. And the visitors earning a 1-0 win with an absolutely extraordinary free kick. Monaco claimed three points. Bastia had lost out to Paris at home just a week ago, but this time it was a different story. Alain Saint-Maxima getting an absolute stunner to open the mark. Enzo Crivelli then added a second. The Corsicans storming to victory in this one. And Crivelli was once again on target to make it 3-0. Laurie on the other hand with two losses. Saint-Etienne played Montpellier in a tough contested match. Montpellier, the visitors, getting the first goal. Ruffier with a good save, but he could do nothing with the rebound. Christophe Galtier's men reacted well and Monet Paquet got the equaliser in the second half. Dylan Saint-Louis then put Le Vert ahead. 2-1. Jordren in goal for Montpellier. Nothing he could do about that one. And then right at the end of the match, Robert Beric slotted pass for a third. Saint-Étienne 3, Montpellier 1.
Rennes had lost in their opening game. The Rennes striving to get a better result for Christian Gorkouf. And it was in fact his son, Yuan Gorkouf, who opened the mark. Fantastic strike from outside the box. The former France international getting on the score sheet. It ended 2-0 for the home side. After a fantastic run, Giovanni Sio finished off the work. Beautiful shot. And Ren claimed that one 2-0. Promoted side Dijon travelled to Lille trying to get their first win of the season. But it wasn't meant to be as Edez's bad control turned into a pass. And Sankari turned in three minutes from time. Lille with a vital win after losing out to Metz in their opening game. So Lyon win against Caen 2-0. Paris, Saint-Étienne and Rennes all claim victories. At the top of the table, Olympique Lyonnais with five goals scored, none conceded. Paris with four goals scored and none conceded. Lille and Rennes, Saint-Étienne also coming to the top half of the table after good results. At the bottom of the table, Angers, Lorient and Nancy still have no points. Marseille on the other hand, just a one, something they will not be happy about. In next week's games, the big one, AS Monaco hosts Paris Saint-Germain. Saint-Étienne hosts Toulouse and Olympique de Marseille welcome Lorient at the Stade Velodrome.